if you are seeing this message, this message may be for you. I'm going to pull an oracle, I'm going to channel my angels, and I'm going to provide you with, I hope, whatever clarity and peace you are in seek of at this time. Divine Spirit, love, light, and all good things. Show us the truth. For some reason, the word truth is coming through. May the truth be revealed on this situation. May you understand, may you come to know, may you feel safe and secure within this inner knowing. It's like connecting truth to your intuition for some reason is the message coming through. So maybe it's like something is about to be proven right, like something, something that you've had an intuitive knowing about is about to be proven right, where it's like... So the star card is coming through from a tarot deck, um, like a shining star. Um, so this could have been a wish that you made on a star. Um, the energy definitely feels like it's engulfing you. Like it feels like you are the star energy. Um, and it's really beautiful, the card that actually came out. Merciful Mother Jamal. This feels like... Um, it's like you can rest easy in knowing your value, knowing your worth, knowing who you are. Like it feels like a new level of confidence, like a level of confidence that's going to allow you to sleep peacefully, that's going to allow you to move through life peacefully. There's a lot of fire in this. It's also connecting to passion, um, a lot of sexual energy. And so to me, this is like creative expression. Um, there's going to be something that's unlocked for you. For some reason, I'm hearing and seeing, like, let let it flow. Like, and it's, um, what's coming to mind is actually feminine energy. Like, let feminine energy flow. Let your feminine essence go. And it's like, let the rest of the world fall away once more. Um, so it's kind of like sending you back to a time period where you really could care less what others thought of you so long as you thought highly of you that's all that really matters here and i think this is a gentle reminder that when you think highly of you it doesn't matter who you are what you do what you wear what you have the world will reflect back to you what you believe you are and energy does not lie it does not lie so i think that's a really beautiful confirmation of truth that truth will be revealed um, it's so crazy, actually, because what I'm being um, told is that the misleading information and it's like the false, um, false accusations, the mask that you are wearing, it wasn't you trying to be better than anyone. It was actually like the mask that you're wearing was self-loathing, lack of worthiness, um, lesser value of like who you, it's like you didn't believe your worth you didn't believe your value you didn't believe in yourself fully like to the capacity at which even other people in the world have seen you um there was a lot of self-doubt that was coming through previously and that was like that was the false truth was you not actually seeing yourself as this god goddess energy that you are this divine spirit energy and so I see you really connecting with that here, not just connecting with that. I see you allowing yourself to get lost in that. Like literally just drifting off into this peaceful state of existing. Like you get to flow through every day of your life, understanding who you are, remembering who you are, focusing only on the good of who you are and nurturing those parts of yourself that are revealed to you through human experience through your interactions with the world around you and nurturing those parts of you that didn't have that love that acceptance that understanding and forgiveness um, for previous lifetimes that you've lived and not only are you able to extend this grace and this peace and this beauty to yourself but you're also able to extend it to others i see you as a teacher like you teach others through learning for yourself. Such ethereal energy is coming through. It's very fairy-like. It's very, it's like my fair lady is the word that is also coming through, which connects me to royal energy, but not the kind that sits above everyone else, but rather the kind that sits with everyone else. Very Christ-like energy. 
It's like you don't view yourself as above anyone else. You don't view yourself as better than anyone else. You only view yourself through the eyes of judgment. And even the judgment that you view yourself through is changing in a way that is more supportive of your growth and less supportive of past mental behavioral patterns that you've picked up on or carried with you from childhood um, and also throughout your teen years. There are behavioral patterns, mental belief systems that were instilled in you that just never nurtured your free spirit, your wild free spirit. This to me is like wild and free. Wild and free in a deep knowing, a, a deep trust, an inner knowing in who you are and what you're here to do, which is to love and be loved. It's to nurture, it's to mother, it's to love and be loved. Father, even if you're a masculine. Um, I also am being told there's a lot of joy here for you to experience. There's a lot of bliss here for you to experience. Make everything playful, keep everything playful. I'm seeing butterflies are the symbols that I'm being shown, starfish, roses. Um, and also sunflowers are very significant. So maybe you're going to be receiving flowers um, pretty soon here, just as a surprise gift from the universe, not in anyone, not from anyone in particular. Um, it's just like your inner beauty is going to shine through so brightly. It's actually going to physically transform how you appear to the world. And you are so so I usually don't like to use the word deserving so much because I really believe in the power of words and like de serving just has never sounded quite right but for some reason right now it just feels so right to say you are so deserving like you are so worthy of receiving recognition for who you are as a person not in like a newspaper or an article or anything like that but literally just in the interactions that you have with other human beings, with the world around you, good and positive experiences coming out of even what could be previously considered something that wasn't so good for you. So just a positive outlook on life, positive reward. It's like the universe has you on a positive reward system is what I'm being told, to where you get to really enjoy this new version of you, this new existence of you. You get to really enjoy your life for maybe the first time in your entire life or even just a long time. So I think the strongest message that's coming through right now is just enjoy. Enjoy the journey that's happening for you right now. Enjoy the destruction and reconstruction of who you are because you are really um, becoming this masterpiece. You're really in this transition of becoming this masterpiece to where like when people speak with you, when people look at you, when people are even just in your presence, they're like, wow. It's um, few words or they just can't get enough of you. It's like, it's, it's a really strong reactions is what I see people having towards you right now. Really beautiful energy. I always like to make sure the video is not going to disappear because usually the longer I go, oh, the more likely it is to get deleted somehow. Thank God it didn't. Um, a really beautiful message. I'm glad I was able to share that. As always, if you do feel called to connect further, I offer personal readings via text. I have email readings, video recordings. Um, I have my full moon ceremony coming up here. So if any of that interests you, you can click the link in my bio to visit my website. And I look forward to working with you if you feel called.